Hi, I'm Doris Taylor. I'm the Director of Regenerative Medicine Research at the Texas Heart Institute. I was born in San Francisco. I lived overseas in Europe. But when I was six, my dad got sick and we moved back to the U.S. and I was raised in Mississippi. We believe that aging is both a failure of stem cell number and stem cell function. It's really not that complicated. Replace stem cell number, replace stem cell function, prolong life. The challenges that you face in science are really multifold. You face scientific, biologic hurdles, trying to engage the public in a field about stem cells when there's so much misinformation. Science funding is at the lowest it's been in my lifetime. Uh, if you want to do an aging experiment, think about it. It takes a long time. <laughs> and a long time means a lot of money. NIH and other scientific institutions don't always like to fund groundbreaking research. If I had unlimited funding, I would build every organ possible in the lab so that nobody would die needing an organ, which would in many ways prolong aging of given individuals. I also would use stem cells to create a bank of products that were available worldwide in cases of disease, in cases of aging, in cases of genetic disorders, so that we could, in fact, improve and prolong the lives of most people on the planet. When I heard about the Palo Alto Prize, I was really excited. For years, I've said, aging is a failure of stem cells. When I read about the prize, I went, okay, it's time to put up or shut up. Now you can prove it. Try stem cells, prolong life, really convince the world that aging is a failure of stem cells. The Palo Alto Prize is exciting because it gives us a chance to test very simple ideas, but in a very powerful environment. I don't wanna play if I'm not gonna to try to win, but more importantly, it's a chance to meet brilliant scientists who are focusing on this area. It's a chance to test our pretty simple ideas, and if we win, we can put those ideas into operation very quickly and presumably prolong the lives of a lot of people. My dad died when I was very young, so I didn't really appreciate aging at that point. But when my mom passed away, she was healthy most of her life until the last week or so of her life. As I saw her deteriorate very rapidly in just a week, it became very obvious to me, we have no idea what aging really does or is or how it happens. Just look at someone faced with a trauma. We say, it aged me 10 years. It's true. Inflammation, stress, chronic disease equal aging. I believe we can intervene in all of those with stem cells. Assembling a team to answer a question like this really requires bringing together people with disparate ideas. Probably the most important aspect of assembling a team was enthusiasm and willingness to work the long hours it's gonna to take to prove we're right. Ranga, Chris, Charzad, Heather, Anita, Raphael, Aham, Poe, they spend long days doing this. My team is probably different from a number of competitors for this prize in that we really think very simply and we believe nature can do a lot of this work for us. Our mantra has always been give nature the tools and get out of the way. An increased healthy lifespan would mean that much of society could quit spending so much of our money on health care. I think we're in the only business I know where we'd love to put ourselves out of business. And once we did, imagine the brain power that could be put to other questions that we don't have the luxury of asking now. Now is the time to launch this prize because we've reached a point in science where we really do have the opportunity to solve aging. <laughs>